So I recently picked up a vacuum chamber and a vacuum pump. Nothing fancy. This is one I got on Amazon. I'll provide a link in the description. This one is, the pump is from Harbor Freight. They have two different models. This is the smaller one. The pump basically just comes with what you see right here. It did not include the hose. The hose came with the vacuum chamber as well as the hardware up here. And I do actually have some serious projects in mind for this. Um, I want to try making knife scales to put on my website. And there was a video I did, I don't know, it's probably been like two years ago, about a mallet. In fact, I this mallet right here, my no-roll mallet that has a flat face so it won't roll off your bench. I want to try doing some resin-infused versions of this to potentially also sell on my website. But before I get into the serious work, I want to do some not serious experimentation with the vacuum chamber and just see what happens. So what we're going to experiment with here, since we have Easter coming up, I've got rabbit peeps and the little bird peeps. We're going to try those. I've got a Twinkie, a Hershey's Marshmallow Heart, a Peeps Gingerbread Man. These are all kind of going to do the same thing, but I still thought it would be fun. Cadbury Cream Eggs. One regular and one caramel. And hot fudge topping. Now to make sure I don't make a huge mess, I am going to use a plastic container inside. Because I do think the eggs, the fudge, maybe the fudge. I don't know if there's actually air within the liquid, so I don't know what that's actually going to do. And the Twinkie, I think, I think these three are all going to be messy. The rest are probably just going to get big and then deflate. But that's why we're here, to see what happens. So I've had to move the pressure pot, sorry, the vacuum chamber onto the floor of the shop just because my tripod isn't tall enough to be able to see inside. And let's start with the Peeps Gingerbread Man. We are pulling a vacuum. And I think this peep is left over from Christmas. So it's probably a little old. But I can see cracks starting to form. And it is starting to expand now. That's about the max vacuum that this little guy can do. And that's not very impressive. I mean, yes, it is bigger. It did expand, but not a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and let the air back in. Okay, that's kind of cool. So it shrunk quite a bit smaller than its original size. And <laughs> now it looks all deflated. Let's try a fresh peep. We've got a the rabbit. The bird. I think we're maxed out again. So I'm going to let the air back in and I want to see if these will deflate like the other, like the gingerbread man did too. They certainly flopped around. <clears throat> yeah, they deflated as well. Now let's try the Hershey's chocolate marshmallow heart left over from Valentine's Day. <laughs> so we're up to negative, just over negative 0.8 bar. I think we're at about the max vacuum it can pull, and that's what, roughly double the size? Kind of cool. All right, let the air back in.
All right, next let's try the Twinkie, and I'm actually gonna leave the, the wrapper on just to see if the vacuum is enough to burst the packaging. It's definitely expanding. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the package and see if that makes a difference. Really, I'm, I'm curious to see if the filling, I'm curious to see if the filling will kind of squeeze itself out if it'll expand and come out at the bottom. So we're at max vacuum and it did obviously split the Twinkie, but it wasn't nearly as dramatic as I was hoping. I was hoping that the filling would kind of bubble up, but uh, I guess not. I don't know if that's because there's just not enough air to pull out, or if the vacuum just isn't strong enough, not sure. Now let's try the Cadbury eggs. Okay, we're back at max vacuum again. Nothing too crazy, but it is kind of neat that the filling was able to expand enough to crack the shell and separate the halves. Well, let's let the air back in. Let's try the Smucker's Hot Fudge Topping. Okay, well, that didn't really do anything. So for our last one, I've got one of these things of refrigerated biscuits that come in the semi-explosive wrapped packaging. Uh, so let's see what happens with that. Okay, so that's a little disappointing. I'm at max vacuum and it hasn't popped. So I think what I'll do is I'll start to unwrap it just a little bit and then stick it back in. All right, let's see if that's enough. Okay, well that's still not enough. Try to loosen it a little bit more. Okay, well that didn't work. Try to go a little bit more. Give it one last shot. If this doesn't go, I don't think it's going to work. Oh, <laughs> it finally worked. Well, there you go. And that was like at max vacuum. It had just hit max vacuum when it exploded. So those weren't as dramatic as I was hoping for, but it's still kind of neat to see what a vacuum can do to some of these things that have air inside of them. I was almost starting to think that the tube of biscuits was just not going to go. But we finally had success. Um, anyway, as far as 
the equipment goes. This is my first time using a vacuum pump and vacuum chamber, so I don't really have anything to compare against. Uh, but so far, I'm. I think they're going to work. They're going to work for what I need. I think the vacuum pump. I don't remember exactly what it was. I, I bought this last year. Harbor Freight had a 20% off coupon, so it made it even cheaper. For the vacuum chamber, one thing I noticed is that it would get a vacuum easier if I wet the gasket first. And as the water started to dry around the edges, I did have to kind of hold it down a little bit to get the vacuum to start. And then, of course, once the vacuum pressure started, then that would hold it in place and, and it could keep on going. Like I said, I'll have links for these in the description. And I do have a few projects coming up actual <laughs> projects coming up where we'll make use of this equipment again. So there you go. That is how peeps react to a vacuum chamber as well as Cadbury cream eggs and tins of biscuit dough. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of the stuff that I do in my shop, which will actually have some projects coming up soon, please subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time.